Remember me as an outcast outlaw. Another album out, that's what I'm about. Mythologized and often misrepresented, this legendary rapper continues to influence pop culture even after his death. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting the most interesting facts about the late Tupac Shakur. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 5. On the night Tupac was fatally shot, he almost wore a bulletproof vest. All I do is make rap. All I do is rap and talk loud. My biggest crime is talking loud. Tupac was known to wear a bulletproof vest, especially after a 1994 attack in which he suffered five gunshot wounds. However, on September 7th, 1996, Tupac strayed from his typical routine after attending a Mike Tyson boxing match at the MGM Grand. His fiancée, Kadada Jones, reportedly tried to pack his bulletproof vest for him, but he decided not to wear it, claiming that the weather would be too hot. And so, a vulnerable Tupac made his way to Club 662 with Suge Knight. When a white Cadillac pulled up beside them, Tupac suffered four gunshot wounds, including two to the chest, leading to his death six days later. I'm thinking, they're dead. There's absolutely no way in the world that these two guys are alive. Number 4. A teenaged Rashida Jones wrote an angry letter to Tupac. At the time of his death, Tupac Shakur was engaged to the aforementioned Kadada Jones, the oldest daughter of music producer Quincy Jones. Three years prior though, when the two were complete strangers, Tupac harshly criticized her father's personal life in Source magazine. Kadada's teenage sister Rashida was so upset that she confronted Tupac with an impassioned public response letter, defending her father's legacy while reminding of his relevancy as well. I've recorded a little bit. I'm really nervous about that. My, Why? Because my father's a musical genius. <laughs> Tupac later apologized to Rashida's sister Kadada in person, which ultimately led to a relationship and engagement. Meanwhile, Rashida embarked on an acting career that culminated with notable roles on the NBC sitcoms The Office and Parks and Recreation. Number 3. Tupac secretly dated Madonna Tupac's outspoken persona made him a polarizing figure. Behind the scenes, though, he established strong bonds with the women in his life, including close friend, actress Rosie Perez. When she got stood up by her date in 1993 for the Soul Train Music Awards, Pac accompanied her, on the condition that Perez introduced him to Madonna, which actually led to an under-the-radar romance. In 2015, speaking to Howard Stern about a profanity-laced Letterman appearance in 1994, Madonna cited the influence of her then-boyfriend Tupac Shakur as the possible cause. <laughs> what brings Incidentally, you, you are a sick <laughs> And so, in a revelation that speaks volumes about pre-internet pop culture, we learned that Tupac and Madonna were an item. Talk about a power couple? Number 2. Tupac studied ballet at the Baltimore School for the Arts Given Tupac's association with the West Coast scene, many don't realize that he actually grew up in New York City. In fact, he even went by the moniker MC New York after relocating to Baltimore in 1986, a pivotal time in which the aspiring entertainer developed his performance skills. At the Baltimore School for the Arts, Tupac studied various art forms, including ballet. Why? Pop his ass out straight twisted. While Tupac is known for his raw charisma, his Baltimore years reveal a young man that wasn't afraid to challenge himself intellectually or explore art forms far removed from rap. In 1988, Tupac moved cross-country to California, where his career in both the music and film industry blossomed. Let's get it. Number 1. Beef or not, Tupac and Dr. Dre didn't know each other well. Less than a year before his death, Tupac signed with Suge Knight's Death Row Records, and for his first single, he teamed up with Dr. Dre for the now legendary anthem, California Love. California Love. At the time, Dre was on the verge of leaving to begin Aftermath Entertainment, and so, the two men quickly went their separate ways, without ever developing much of a rapport one way or another. In keeping with the rules of rap label loyalty, however, Tupac soon began throwing insults at the doctor. Dre has since acknowledged that he was never close with Tupac, and despite the popularity of their famous collaboration, it seems to have been business more than anything else. So, which of these facts did you find most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.